as we come into the round, I believe the quarterfinals. I believe we're into the quarterfinals now with the men's open. Yeah, and we have another Filipino tonight. Um, after Kim and Gab, we have Leander, and he is the best player in Philippines. So we have on the court the best right now, and we'll see how the best in Philippines will compare with a really good quality of India. You know what? This is going to be a great match. I can already tell. Um, Leander, I, I saw him warming up earlier uh, yesterday, and I could tell right away he's, he's got a clean game. Very smooth. Anurag, Anurag is the young lefty out of India. We're going to see if he can handle the smooth, smooth game of Leander. Lander's got great touch. It's the first Ernie I've seen from a single standpoint. You don't see these guys Ernie much, but Leander definitely just did. That tells me he reads the court very well. Anurag misjudged that ball just a little bit. Unforced air gives the ball back to Anrag. A little debate about about it. Not sure why he gave that ball back. He should have stuck to his call. Yeah, he definitely should have stuck to the call. I don't know why he changed it, but it's either gonna fire. So this is either gonna fire him up, or it's gonna affect him in a negative way. So he's got to decide how he's going to handle that situation. I feel I feel like Honora just used like a, a like a tactic almost. Um to try to get in his opponent's head because he was actually losing that match and then he 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 basically got into Leander's head on that call so he's he's missed the last three or four shots now so we're going to see if he can work out of that uh pretty interesting uh tactic that he used what but is it? What is the score here? Uh, the score. The score is close. Okay. It's close, but it's five two now. Okay. I believe it's. I believe five two maybe. Mm -hmm. Five three. Five three. That's just a Beautiful. clean backhand. Yes. And is hiding it until the very last second. You you don't hit that unless you've played a lot of tennis. Tennis. Yes. That, yeah. that is one of the smoothest backhands yes. I've seen. And he doesn't reveal the, di the, the direction until until the last moment. The, the thing I've noticed the most so far about Leander is that he's got 
versatility in his game. He's very diverse yes. in his shots. Yes, he he has a one-handed, he has a two-handed, he has a forehand and a slice. And he, he can, he can drive, he can play soft, you know. He has all the shots in the arsenal for sure. Well, first time when I heard about Leander was from um, Kevin from Prokenex. Yeah. He said, oh, I do have a good player in in the uh, Philippines. Yeah. And he told me his name. And, uh, and I thought, like, okay, that's nice. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And so we talked a couple of times. And to be honest, I, this is the first time I see him playing. I'm very impressed. Yes. To be honest, there was a little situation. You were handling something yourself. But there was like a line call that Leander saw out. He called it out. And then Anurag argued the call. And Leander, I heard him from all the way over here. He politely said, like, Listen, I saw it out. You know, you may have seen it different, but I saw it out. Yeah. And then something happened. There was an exchange with the referee, and then all of a sudden, like, Anurag basically like asked for the ball back and wanted the call overturned. So he gave it to him. Oh really? And then it got in his head a little bit. It was oh. a little bit of a disruption to his game. But he's worked back through that now. Yeah. He's he's back to his his normal game. But mm. I don't know if it was a tactic or if he genuinely thought that the call was a bad call. But either yeah. way. He it, didn't want to get to the conflict. I think he just let go of the, the call yeah. because he didn't want the conflict, but uh, it definitely worked. Yeah, no, it's very smooth, you know, yeah. in everything what he does. Yeah. Oh, no, everything is smooth. I, like I said, I saw him before you and I ever talked about Leander. Yeah. Um, all right, here's another call that he's... Yeah, I, I, actually, thought that, I actually thought that ball was in. But I don't have a great angle from over here either. But yeah, Le Leander is definitely, in my opinion, the smoothest guy on this whole yes. surface today. Yeah. He's been the, the most smooth and actually a very nice guy. <laughs> he is. And, and honestly, all Filipino players are really They're nice. so nice, yeah. They were, they were so excited to play their first international tournament. This. It, this is unbelievable to watch him, the way he resets. The, you, these are things Self that you just, you, you really can't teach this stuff. Yes. It's yes. instincts for him to, yeah. to play defensive resets versus attacking. And I, I can tell you, the team Philippines on Saturday, that will be something. It's going to be very fun, yes. very fun. I, I'm actually very excited to play against him in doubles. I don't want to play him in singles. <laughs> Well, maybe you should say, tell, share the, with, the, with the people what, what, what um, idea do we have about uh, oh, the team. Yes, so our idea is that obviously I'm, I'm here for commentary, but the idea is that we can mic, hopefully find a way to mic up myself with a wireless mic while I'm playing on, on center court. Hmm. But it'd be a little bit different. How about, how about heavy breath? <laughs> I don't get tired. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, that's uh, I was thinking about myself. In the oh, I love it. <laughs> so notice, notice how Leander is comfortable yes. staying soft until he finds the right ball. Yep. Exactly. And Anurag rushed that shot because he was uncomfortable staying in that soft ink. Yep, yep. Which is, by the way, one of the things that I feel like the Indian teams really don't like to do in singles is slow the ball down. They like to play a fast game. And so if Leander wants to negate some of that fast play, he just needs to soften that ball up like yeah. that. More, and more, more variation. A variation, yeah. But trust me when I say he can also play fast. Yeah. He, he, he's got a fast game. Yeah. Well, it's getting close and closer. I think, what is it, 6-9? I, I think he's closed the gap to 6-9. Yeah, you know, you can't expect Anurag to go anywhere. He's a very tough competitor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's adjusting now to Leander and how he plays. Um, that's a great dig. Look at that touch. Yes. Just so smooth. Now, his mistake was he went back down the line to the forehand of Anurag, which in hindsight he knows that was a mistake, but in the moment he just pulled the trigger. He just made a decision. He yes. made that decision, but also he was going that direction. Yeah. So it just pulled him in that way. There, now he's going to figure out he's, he's got to stay to that backhand. He's, I think he's going to figure this out on his own. 
hitting to the to the lefty's forehand is going to be a trap. Yeah, I see. Bucks Joey really cheering and expressing his uh, thoughts about in and out balls. <laughs> who who is? <laughs> Insist that it's out, Bucks Joey. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, just to um, address the in and out calls, it's the receiver's call. And, and ultimately, if Leander decided to give up that right and give the ball back, that's his decision. He does, by no means does he have to do that. Right. Now, sometimes the referee can overturn a call if it's a blatant call. Right. But typically, if it's close and the player makes the call in their favor, yeah. it's, it's going to be a standing call. That's right. That's right. Now, you will see as the matches go on, you know, it gets competitive and people want to make the calls tighter. But I feel like Leander's a, a very honest player. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was really good. He got to that ball very easily, but then he lifted. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't have much time to do anything with the ball. So. Yeah, yeah once um, you get there, you got to still execute. <laughs> yes, yes. So smooth covering smooth, the court. Yeah. I still think that um, it's kind of a little bit shifting the game right now. It's, um, um, it's not like clean winning the points by Leander, but maybe winning by the mistake of the opponent. So I, I would say like his opponent is a little more active. Right. And Leander is starting to be a little bit too passive. And yeah, which, I think you're could, right. Which could turn around very easily, you know. It can happen, and then a couple net cords like that, some things happen. You know, I think it's smart what he's doing. I know he's not doing this as a tactic. He's he's toweling off between every point. Yeah. I think that's a good strategy because it gives you a second to kind of regroup right. without having to call a timeout. Right. As long as it's not excessive. Yeah. I, I really believe that Leander is figuring out that if he can get to the ball to the backhand side of Anurag, he's going to be in better shape. Well, anyways, uh, this, both of these players are really amazing. Oh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this match right now. I think he got his, uh, he got his on this. Uh, Anurag was thinking he was going to get down the line and uh, he was not ready for the cross He was court. not ready for the cross court. Which means um, Leander is 10 7 up now. But again, the, the match is very tight and it can go either way still. Yeah, um, this match could go either way for sure. But I, I do feel like. Look at the touch. Yeah, I do feel like Leander has a slight advantage on the touch game. Um, but Anurag has got some power and he's not afraid to pull the trigger. I don't know if you noticed, but um, they are playing soft games. But uh, Anurag is closer to the, to the kitchen line. He's dominating the soft game now. When he's up at the kitchen, yeah, he's very long. Yeah. Now, that's the, in my opinion, that ball was high. Anurag was back. I think that's the right shot to drop, but you've got to make sure you make it. Yep. You don't have to be perfect with it. Yep, yep. Because at the end of the day, if Anurag has to run all that way to get it, he's going to likely pop the ball up on the next one. Yeah. I think... So I think it's 10 yeah, 10-8. You, you can feel Leander's tightened up just a little bit because the game's gotten a little closer now. Yep. Um, of course, just from my experience with sports and, and broadcasting, he's a gamer. Leander's a gamer, so he's going to rise to the occasion as well as Anurag. Both these guys have ice in their veins. That's a great serve. Again, we talk about this, the deep serve, the deep return. That sets up everything for the point. If you just put the ball in play... I think that's a grave mistake. I, I think that you, you, you know, you've got to put some pressure. Again, there's two, two unforced errors on returns that now has linked in the gap, yep, yep. and it gives him more confidence too. Exactly. It gives Leander okay. something to yep. bite down on. This could have been a turning point in whole match. And here we go, the third one. That's another one. That's three in a row that he's missed. That's a very big deal. Yes. A yes. very big deal. All right, guys, that's a timeout from Anurag. Scott Golden, Jan Poppy, we'll be right back after this.
All right, we're back to the action. That's a sick forehand down the line, even to the, the side of Anurag. That's the forehand. You could, you could see how those three Anurag's errors created, boosted the confidence. He's back driving the balls again. Yes, and there it is. He closes it out with a nice two-handed backhand winner. I got to tell you, he, over, he overcame adversity on the line calls. He, he overcame the game getting back tight again, and he really showed what he can do on the court tonight. Totally I would agree. not be surprised to see him in the finals tonight. Or semis. 